back on Golf Today. Time now for Manage Your Expectations, presented by Arcos. We say hello to Lou Stagner, Arcos Data Insights lead. Good to see you, Lou. What is your backstory, by the way? How did you get into this golf stats game? Yeah, I'll answer that two ways. Uh, so I've been working in the analytics space for about 20 years now and currently run an analytics team uh, for a company based in the Northeast. And, and I started at Arcos last year uh, and uh, started playing golf as a teenager and was a golf nut right pretty much from the first shot. And I uh, played for, around scratch for a while. Uh, but now as I've gotten older and less time, my index hovers in the you know, four to seven range. And I've always been a data nerd. So I, when I first started, before I started using Arcos, I had spreadsheets for everything. I tracked every single shot that I hit, and I still have all those spreadsheets today. And I did that for years, for decades, literally. And I would spend hours entering and analyzing all that data. And now fast forward to today, I get to do some really cool stuff working with the Arcos data, working with ShotLink data for PGA Tour pros. And it's been a really fun ride. Man, I hope you can give me into the single digits. So for those who don't know, Lou, how does Arcos work? Well, you can, uh, Arcos allows you to track your data and you can think of Arcos like uh, shot link for amateurs. Uh, it's a really simple system to use. There are sensors that attach to the grips at the end of your club and those sensors pair to the Arcos Caddy app. Uh, then you just go play. And Arcos records all of your shots automatically. Uh, it has some great features like an AI rangefinder uh, that will adjust in real time for weather, uh, slope, altitude. Uh, after a few rounds, it will start to give you recommendations on your game. Uh, you'll start to see how far you actually hit your clubs, not just that one time when you, you know, it was downwind and you hit it perfectly. Uh, you'll really start to know your distances. Uh, but the real value, in my opinion, is after the round, being able to look at all of your strokes gain data and analyze your game that way. I did hit a 303-yard drive uh, last week. It was downwind on the third hole at Aspatuck Valley. Speaking of strokes gain, you know, we hear so much about it week in and week out. How does the math work in involving strokes gain? Yeah, it's a question that I get often, and we all have Mark Brody to thank for that. He invented strokes gain, what, maybe 15 years ago now. And uh, I'm going to explain it a couple of different ways. Well, first way is it, it measures your shots against a benchmark. Uh, where that benchmark is just the average number of shots to hole out from that distance and that lie. Uh, if you do better than the average, you gain strokes. If you do worse than the average, you lose strokes. That's a simple way to think about it. An analogy that I always give that seems to resonate with people is I'll ask them, how far do you, uh, do you live from work? And a very common answer is I live 15 minutes from work. Uh, and you'll notice that the answer is often given in how long it's going to take you to drive there, not I live five miles from work. And that's kind of the heart of strokes gain. So you can think of it, instead of thinking uh, of your distance to the hole only in the number of yards or the number of feet, you think of it in terms of the number of shots. So for example, a five handicap player from 100 yards in the fairway takes about 3.18 shots to get the ball in the hole on the average. And going back to our car analogy, 100 yards in the fairway is like saying I live five miles to work Saying that you are 3.18 shots from the hole from 100 yards in the fairway is like saying it's a 15-minute drive to work. Oh, I love that analogy. Now, listen, we love watching Tony Finau. We marvel at Brooke Henderson, but everybody's favorite golfer is him or herself. So what improvements do you think the golfer at home can make by using Arcos to track their data? Yeah, one of the most important things to realize as a golfer is what your true performance is. And we are not good at that. We are very biased and we have opinions on what we think we do well and what we think we do poorly. And one of the great aspects about Arcos is that's going to define that for you. You're going to get your strokes gained in each of the four main categories, off the tee, approach shots, around the green, and putting. And why it's so important to know is that there can be a huge disparity between players of the same handicap level in one of these categories. For example, let's take 10 handicap players. Uh, the best putter 
at, as a 10 handicap is about four shots per round better in putting than the worst putter as a 10 handicap. So if you're actually tracking your data and you know those numbers, you are going to be able to identify the weaknesses in your game and you're going to be able to focus on that weakness to hopefully improve it quicker. Without that data, people are often guessing and they can definitely guess wrong. So knowing what your data is will give you the opportunity to really focus on where you need it. Wow, Lou, we're gonna be speaking quite a bit over the next several months. Looking forward to tracking my improvement in the people at home as well. Thanks for the time, enjoy your Tuesday, pal. Thanks, Damon, we'll see you soon. All right, Lou Stagner with our coast coming up next on Golf Today, one of the most 